Hey guys, I'm super excited because I am finally in Wuhan. I've been wanting to come here for so long and for good reason. With a 3,500 year long history, Wuhan is one of the most ancient and populated metropolitan cities in China. And of course, while in Wuhan, I need a local guide to show me around. So I've invited my good friend Cheng here, who is a local Wuhanite. How are you? I'm good. Good day, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Give me five. So today, let's explore Wuhan together. If there's one thing I know about Wuhanites, it's that they love their breakfast. And you may remember a video I did about Chinese breakfast a few months ago, and I got a lot of comments saying, why didn't you talk about Wuhan breakfast food? I made a huge mistake there, so I've come here to Wuhan to rectify that. Breakfast in Wuhan is a really, really famous. In Wuhan, the breakfast is not only a food, it's a lifestyle. We all have a good meal, okay? Oh, okay. Rio Gaimian is the most famous one, so let's get this one first. Rio Gaimian is in Wuhan's history. It's very long. It's very long. It's very long. It's very long. Pork dry noodles. Pork dry noodles. It has some sauce, vinegar, and chili sauce. It smells so good. It smells so good. Yeah. Let's try it. I really like that. It's so saucy. Look at that. Is this one of your favorite Wuhan breakfast foods? Yeah, it's my favorite. Number one. This is almost like Wuhan people every day eat two to three times of this. Do you think you're going to drink tea in the morning? Drink tea? How much is it? So we're going to buy some tea. We're going to drink tea. Two tea. This place is to make tea tea. This is tea tea. It's made with tea. But it doesn't have tea tea. It's going to take two eggs. Every egg is going to take two eggs. It's going to take two eggs. It's going to take two eggs. It's going to take two eggs. 然后加入小丸子，小丸子是糯米粉做的，还有一些糖，酒精是甜的，是吧？对，是甜的。你可以看到它的材料很多，所以口感会很丰富。Okay, so there are quite some people. But in China, if you want good food, the best tip is to look out for the longest line. It's a combination of chicken and chicken. 就是一个饼，然后烧麦是蒸熟的，他会把烧麦放在油饼，你会吃到外面是非常非常脆的，但里面哦。Very interesting dish. Definitely yeah. never seen anything like this before in China. It's yeah. like dumplings on the inside and then this crispy shell on the outside. Mm. Mm. As expected, crispy on the outside, soft so the on the inside. inside. This is that. amazing. Okay, we have come across another very famous Wuhan specialty here. This is dopi. Can you help us explain what dopi is? Uh, dopi is just it has a layer of chicken, and then it will be covered with noodles, and then with some garlic powder, some onion powder, some garlic powder. 豆干丁，然后把它们全部做在一起之后烤制出来的一种，嗯，早餐。Sounds awesome. I have to try this. Fresh dopey right off the wok. Its 
that you get the true flavor. This fan itself has no flavor, but it's very, very delicious. It's very delicious. And if you come to Wuhan, you should definitely try and pay a visit to Wuhan University. It's famous for being one of the most beautiful university campuses in China. And I've had a bit of a walk around already, and it is absolutely stunning. We're now in the Wuhan University. And this road is the Yinghua Road. The Yinghua Road will be filled with Yinghua in the 3rd and 4th of April. This is the perfect place. To dating. Oh. <laughs> hey. Yay! When I was looking at maps of Wuhan, I saw there are like rivers everywhere. Yeah. It's big ones, small ones, but this one is definitely the biggest of them all, right? This should be the biggest of all. The biggest. Wow. Definitely the best way to see the East Lake is by bike. Generally, how about Wuhan's weather? Uh, usually, it's quite hot. The summer in Wuhan is very, very hot. The summer in Wuhan is going to exceed 40 degrees. Wuhan's summer is also very hot. It's below five degrees. Wow, that is cold. Will it rain? Will it rain? Wow, cool. And of course, Wuhan is also home to the famous Yangtze River. Yeah. Right? Is it far from here? Um, not far. Let's go and see it. Okay. Here we are at the famous Yangtze River, um, or how do you say it in Chinese? Uh, Changjiang. And this river, of course, is the longest river in Asia. And after the Nile and the Amazon, it's the third largest river in the world. Yeah, it's from Qinghai at yeah. the end of Shanghai. This uh, traversed 11,000 miles. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. I got very excited when I got my first glimpse of the Yangtze River Swimming Club. They're famous for swimming in rain, snow or shine and battling against the crazy currents in the river on a daily basis. If you're subscribed to my channel, you may already know that I decided to join them for a swim. I made a full video about it that you can check out whenever you have time. How do you feel? It's very nice. I feel very nice. Yeah. You can too. It's not that bad. Too cold, too cold. Our final stop of the day was the Jiyin Cruise. It's described as a drifting theatre. It's basically an immersive theatre experience that takes place on this big, beautiful old boat. So before the cruise, a big important step is to dress up. So they have all these different options of Chinese tea pao. Next time you see me, I'll be decked out in a whole new outfit. <laughs> Yay, I feel so pretty! But of course, it's not only the ladies that dress up. Here's Cheng looking very dapper. There will be a show on the boat, and there will be a very beautiful Wuhan sky. And at night, Wuhan is lit up like a Christmas tree. So up here, it may look like just normal people on the boat, but the performance has actually begun. They're all actors and they're walking around. They're all... Look at these two here. I'm on the boat now, and officially part of the show. We walked inside the ship, which opened onto a massive ballroom. Everyone took a seat or stood around the dance floor and waited for the performance to begin. And it did so with a bang. Everyone just started dancing. It was so cool. Well, I soon got my wish. I was one of the lucky ones pulled out of the crowd to dance and it was awesome! The performance continued as we made our way around the ship, going into different rooms, up to different floors and seeing actors tell their story. 
I've never experienced a performance quite like it. The night ended on the roof of the ship where the Wuhan light show was literally breathtaking. There was a live band and everyone just started to dance. It was such a fun night. Okay, that is the end of our big day in Wuhan. I've had the most amazing time. I'm officially in love with Wuhan. And don't forget to subscribe her channel. Yeah, do that too. <laughs> and welcome to China again and welcome to Wuhan again. Thank you so much for showing me around today. No problem. So see you next time. Yay, bye. Bye.